Hi guys, welcome to Backdoor 3D. Today I want to talk about the studio's cameras and their associated headlamps. Um, when to use them, when not to use them, what effect they have on what you're viewing and more importantly the effect of having the headlamp on has on your renders. I've got a preloaded scene here that I rendered a couple of days ago. And if I can find it, there it is. That's the output, or sorry, the, the result that I wanted to achieve. Now, I wouldn't achieve that result if I was using the headlamp in the on position, or sorry, the on switch. So here we have it. We have my camera headlamp and it's off because I have preview light on. So I'll turn that off. When you render with the hand lamp off, you get that result. When you render with the headlamp on, you will get Well, when it comes up, it'll take a couple of seconds. My machine is being extremely slow today and lagging, and I don't know why. I'd have to do some under the hood stuff a bit later on. Anyway, here we have the um, the viewport render, RA render, and you'll see exactly what it happens when it pops up in a minute. Here we go. You can see that it looks nothing like the final rendered image. And that's because it's using the headlamp. And my machine's having a hissy fit. So we'll just get out of that. So that's what happens when you have the headlamp on. It actually floods your scene with light, much the same way a commercial, uh, sorry, professional broadcast camera would do if they were on an OB and outside broadcast and they were interviewing somebody. There is a, a lamp on top of the, the broadcast camera that illuminates the subject in front of them. Now, with the professional camera, the cameraman can actually adjust the intensity of the light etc etc and you can actually ingest it in here if you wanted to I can ingest it so it goes all the way down to nothing or I can just type it into here, 0.5 but you won't get anything it has to be one to be on and I don't know why it's gone off Don't know what happened there. I haven't had much success with the headlamp intensity and I don't know why you would use it anyway. So when you're rendering, my recommendation to you is turn it off. Turn it off here and if you want to see um, all the stuff that you have in your scene, just hit the Control L key and it will turn the preview light on. Now the preview light has absolutely no effect on your render whatsoever. The other thing when you're, uh, sorry, I'm mumbling. The other thing you need to do when you're, uh, before you render, is go into your render tab, general, and make sure that auto headlamp is on never. Now I recommend that you keep this turned off when you've saved your scene and you're ready to render. The number of times I've left it on, set off a render, only to come back 20 minutes later and find that, oh dear, I forgot to turn the headlamp off. So I've got to turn it off and stop the render, turn it off and re-render. So I can render this now with the headlamp off and I'll just quickly show you with a NVIDIA preview um, render. 
that the headlamp will have no effect whatsoever and it will look like the image I showed you before. Any minute now. Seriously have to do something with my computer. See, there you go, headlamp is off. So it's rendering as I expected to do, only using the scene lights that I set up in the scene or the lights I set up in the scene. So as I said before, good tip, turn it off, the headlamp, and turn it off in here as well. That way you'll never have the light bleed and you'll be looking at your render going, well, I set up all those those lights and I wanted this effect and that effect and it, it's it's not happening. Well, that's the reason it's not happening is because you've got your headlamp turned on. Um, and just quickly while I'm on the subject, um, head lab cameras and viewports. Viewports are there for you to manipulate your scene. They are not a camera as such. So if I go into the list of cameras in my camera tab, you will find that there's only the default camera, which I actually have turned off, my main camera that I'm using for the render, and I have a camera test down the bottom. You will not find perspective view, front view, left view, right view, back view, top view, or bottom view in your list of cameras. You can, however, change cameras in the viewport and look at your um, subject matter and whatever you have in the scene so that you can manipulate it. But you should never render anything in the perspective view or in the viewports because the light will always be on the headlamp and you can't turn it off because it's not a camera. Okay, so we go back to a single viewport and here are a list of all my cameras, my lights and the viewports. Oh, with the control L for the preview light you can also do it um, up here with window preview lights and then of course it says there control L doesn't it yeah well that's all for me for now um, next video coming sometime today or early tomorrow will be the promised part one of Des Studio to Blender using the Teleblender plugin and scripts so I hope to see you then and for now it's goodbye and cheers all